If you like what you're hearing on the phillytech.org netcast network, please consider supporting the network with a small monthly donation via patreon.com slash phillytechorg. That's p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash p-h-i-l-l-y-t-e-c-h-o-r-g. And thank you in advance. You're listening to The Interview Show with Seth Goldstein on the phillytech.org netcast network. Thank you to our sponsors, wistia.com, Zoho Mail, and getflywheel.com. There we go. And we're live. Hey, everyone. It's Seth again from the interview show. I'm here again with Sarah Hill, only now she's not with Veterans United. She's doing her own venture called Story of VR. So, you know, she's constantly changing and doing different things. And so I figured I'd get her back on the show to talk about her latest venture. So here's Sarah. So, Sarah, what's up? How you doing? I am doing great. Yeah, made a bit of a pivot. Uh, the great okay. folks at Veterans United, I was I was sad to leave um, them, but we started a, a, pro- a side project at VU that essentially led me to this decision uh, to go into VR, VR, which stands for virtual reality, uh, as a full-time endeavor. So we are doing VR storytelling, we are creating content, um, and telling stories inside a sphere, a video sphere, wow. instead of a fixed rectangle, and allowing people to put headsets like this on um, and be able to stories and be immersed inside them. That's pretty cool. So it's it's storyupvr.com, right? Yeah, Story Up Studios. So we capture reality and virtual reality and then we share it with individuals who aren't able to physically travel. So some of our stories we will take to uh, nursing homes, assisted living centers, um, and you know, people who aren't able to go to these places and allow them to put a headset on and go essentially wherever they want to go. One of our first projects and and one of the reasons why, um, you know, that that side project at Veterans United led me to this was we were trying to find an alternative for some of those terminally ill and aging veterans who aren't able to physically travel to see their, their memorial or travel on an honor flight. But through virtual reality, we could capture the memorials in in stereoscopic 360 and take those to the veterans bedside and via something called Google cardboard, which I'm sure you guys um, have heard a lot about. It's essentially a cardboard box that you're, smartphone fits into um, when the video is on your smartphone it splits stereoscopically so here are some images that we actually shot um, in a homeless camp uh, in Columbia Missouri uh, a lot of individuals don't realize that there is a, a huge problem with veterans homelessness uh, right here even in our, in our wow. community in mid Missouri and so this is where some of these individuals um, are living now um, you can view that through a fixed rectangle but if we are able to immerse you in that situation perhaps you will have some powerful, empathy yeah. for it and then want to contribute to the solution uh, which is uh, at no one left behind.com and they're trying to build a new veterans homeless shelter in order to eradicate this problem so you put your mobile phone um, inside the device like this and it just has it has velcro um, things on the top and this is from Knox labs Um, I sell Google Cardboard on my site at story-up.com. I will warn you to be careful of where you buy it and be really careful if you find low-cost cardboard because there is um, a a company, a porn company actually, that's selling it, well, actually advertising it for free, but they get your uh, email and then they sign you up for for porn updates. So just caution everyone um, to be careful where you buy cardboard. because sadly, some people are using it as a way to get your, your email address. You put it in there, and then you are able to view that uh, story in stereoscopic. Um, it's so neat. All this is cardboard and lenses. 
yeah, it's just cardboard and, and lenses. You know, virtual reality isn't a new medium. It's been around wow. for decades, mm -hmm. right? Um, but we used to have to go to an Omnimax theater or, or a cave or a theme park in order to view it. Well, um, there's, there's this guy named, a young man named Palmer Lucky, um, who really uh, made the whole virtual reality industry pivot because he brought virtual reality to be a personal experience by yeah. creating something called the Oculus Rift, which is a headset said I have it I have it over there but I can't can't reach it for you yeah. um, but you're able to put it on your face and you're able to feel like you're there uh, this is oculus's device. version of the oculus rift but it's a Samsung Gear VR same thing your Android device um, fits into a slot right here um, and then you put this on your face and then you're able to feel like you are wherever it's immersive cool. storytelling, uh, immersive journalism. You might have seen recently ABC News uh, came out in an endeavor with Jaunt, and they took viewers inside Syria to see wow. inside a war zone and imagine what that might be like. Yeah. So it, yeah. It, it's a new tool for journalists, really an old tool that's being um, re-resurrected in, yeah. in, in the VR renaissance, if you will, with these headsets that yes. are suddenly, uh, you know, making viewing that IMAX theater an affordable personal experience. Exactly. And this, by the way, is the brand new cardboard that came out. It's the version two of cardboard. Um, so the, the lenses are, are bigger. Um, wow. And there's also a, a feature up at the top where you can press up and down Oh, that's like neat. that, yeah. and, and to play the video. Wow, which is helpful, all from a cardboard box. Yeah, it's crazy, really huh? Neat. Yeah. So, how's it going so far? How long have you been out on your own? Just two weeks. Um, just two, two weeks. weeks. So we've got, wow. a, yeah, we we've got a lot of projects um, in store. Uh, the first one, obviously, is. The project called Honor Everywhere. So if you go to honoreverywhere.com, it is a creative collaborative endeavor between Veterans United Foundation, uh, Story Up, my company, Jaunt VR, um, Google, and Ghost Machine VR. All of those wow, are individuals who pull, pull resources yeah. together um, in order to make this experience possible for these veterans. Mm -hmm. We are losing our World War II veterans at a rate of 500 a day nationwide. Wow. And sadly, a lot of these men and women. I've never seen their memorials. Uh, this is my grandpa's dog tags um, from from World War II. He never got the opportunity to oh. see it uh, in person or via uh, you know virtual endeavor. So you know, I look at these men and women. I think he would have you know loved something like that, and yeah, just with a, a simple yeah. device like this, yeah, they can. My they grandfather can see would have it. loved it. My grandfather would have. He would have been like, "What is this Kazuki?" You know. He would, he would have yeah. So when so did he hilarious. serve? He was in World War II. He was a major in the Army. Okay. My grandpa was a staff sergeant, um, staff sergeant in the, in the Army. But honoreverywhere.com, um, again, is a place where, where not only you can tell a veteran that this experience is coming, but you can share it with them. Yeah. So if you have a smartphone and you have the ability to download an app, you can help this veteran view the VR experience. Now, cardboard isn't hard to use, but you know, at 80 or 90 years old, or if you have, you know, a terminal condition, you're going to need some help for someone to yeah. load that experience and show you how to work it. So if you know how to use cardboard or you can download an app on your phone, you can share that experience with a veteran. So we're also looking for uh, VR who's volunteers. Now, who's making huh? the Knox VR? Who made the cardboard this year? Who, like, who made uh, the this cardboard? cardboard is made by Knox Labs. So Knox, Knox Lab. uh, Labs. Like, Knox. And, yeah, and, and they make the cardboard that's on my site. Um, oh, as well, and they cool. have the version two, the new version that comes out, um, and that's at story-up.com. Yeah, it's not that bad. Um, it's twenty three dollars that are on it. It's twenty three dollars and ninety five cents, and you have a virtual reality headset. Uh huh. Twenty three dollars yeah. and ninety five cents. Like that's yeah. It. It's like yeah, Oculus VR is probably a lot more snazzy, but this also probably doesn't get you nauseous. Well, it's it's. Um, you know, depending on what experience you want to use it for, you know, if you're looking for a short, you know, couple minute experience to share a story, something that's great. If you want to do a whole, you know, 30 minute relaxation technique, obviously yeah. something that has straps <laughs> is what you're going to do. And a new thing, um, it's not new, it's been out for a while, but, you know, eventually there won't be any headsets. And 
this is what we'll be using. Um, and it looks like it's a pair of reading glasses, but um, these are made by Goggle Tech. And so they're like this, oh, right? Oh, wow. Really small. And then they fold out like this, and then they fit on your smartphone. Really? So I can put my phone in this VR viewer like this and it hooks onto my phone like that. And then I can view um, I can view the content. Just like, just my phone like that. died, but you can just see. Like that. How so, how yeah. just like and you that can cost. then turn around and it works it works with the um, works with the gyroscope on your phone. How much do these cost? Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm guessing not much. Not probably comparable problem. to cardboard. Yeah. Um, they're plastic. All of these things can be branded with, with your logo. So yeah. you know, that's one of the things that we're working with brands to do is ha you know create content for them that they are able to story up, if you will, story some up. of these causes <laughs> and, yeah. and charities mm -hmm. um, that, that, that hurt our hearts and mm -hmm. you know they they can ha be um, associated with doing a really phenomenal thing using some new technology but they can also brand these these VR devices yeah, uh, you know with, the, with their logo on them yeah. uh, I actually just picked one up you what one, I just picked up a Knox Labs VR okay device. great all I right let me know it. how you like it yeah I'll definitely I'll definitely check it out I'll report back all right, I mean, twenty-three dollars. How can you go wrong? It's like you know, Oculus VR. You gotta think about it a little bit. It's a little pricey, but this, you know, for a simple VR, it's like you can't go wrong. Mm -mm. So, so what's the future hold for you? What What are your plans? Like, like what? What? what where is Story Up VR going? We are creating a lot of immersive stories. So, at the end of October, we're headed to Africa with oh, a wow. group of about five people, um, including, of yeah, including an a, a individual f a drone operator from the Mizzou Drone oh, Journal that's Program. Cool. That's really so we're cool. spending uh, these cameras and their, their camera arrays, if you will, um, six dif different cameras, up to 16 different cameras set up all in a, um, you know, a circle or a sphere that allows you to capture in all directions. And suspending them from those You're drones so that we can capture some stories about yeah. these individuals who have to crawl on the ground because they don't have mobility oh, um, wow. and if you go to giftofmobility.org you'll see the problem um, yes. and you'll see the solution that they're trying to come up with so you know again how are we using VR we are using VR as an empathy tool to mm -hmm. illustrate the problem mm -hmm. so that brands and other people who have resources are then able to contribute to the solution um, and and causes and stories, you know, as you know, are sometimes even more important than a donation because yeah. those stories about about you know their needs or or the problem they're reproducible and they can share be shared over and over again. Yeah. Um, so it's we're really you know reaching out to brand to say yeah right, uh, advocacy right journalism rally. absolutely yeah right, right to say rally. if your heart yeah. is 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 our heart you know give us your hand. Exactly. I mean, I, I mean, I've been I've been you for what four or five years now. You've always been on the forefront of technology. You know, having Google Hangouts in in, in on the on the news, which is fun, and then was, then then you know going to VR. I mean, this is a clear path for Sarah. I can just see this. I you can just, see it. You, you get what I'm doing. You don't so think I'm crazy for. They're like, oh, what are you doing? You're selling cardboard boxes? It's like, no, no, no. It's not about the box. It's about what goes inside the, the box. It's about the story inside the box. Yeah. I yeah, love it. absolutely. I love it. So it's story yeah. dash up. Story, story up. And we are using technology to story yeah. up, you know, some of those causes yeah. that hurt our hearts. So, you know, it's there's a, a brand website, out there. You know, yeah. Uh, Seth Goldstein, um, you know, Seth Goldstein's going to story up uh, oh, the pet project or story up uh, the Welcome Home Initiative. Yeah, and so how can people get involved? They can get involved by volunteering to be a VR volunteer, uh, whether that be for some of these age or aging veterans who want to see their memorials or any of the other content. Um, that we'll have coming out if you you know have a desire to share it to share some of the problems in our world that that hurt our hearts um you know we're not sitting back and waiting for you know people to view it 
or just discover it, we're actually having foot soldiers go out uh, to yeah. places and share it with people on the streets. And that's the great thing, you know, about cardboard is these are shareable. You can pass it around a table. Hey, have you heard about um, those have people who have yeah. to crawl around on the ground because they don't have mobility? Well, here, let me take you to Africa. And oh, you, can, Africa. you can look all around and, and see why a regular wheelchair doesn't work in some of those situations. And so now are these more video or are these more of images or, or can you do video with this on, on these cardboards? No, these are video. I'm not, yeah, we don't shoot still photos. These are, this is video. This is so you have, uh, so let me get this straight. 360. You have video, video in a cardboard box. Essentially, mm -hmm. it's, it's video in a cardboard box, and you're able to look all the way around. You're able to listen to the story. You have sound all around oh, wow. you, That's and you're, you're able to be yeah, be inside. I gotta show you. Oh my goodness, I gotta oh, show I you. I can't wait until you get your week. cardboard. Give me a week to get my cardboard, and then I'll check it out. Yeah, well, a I few app like recommendations it. to download some really good um, VR. So your first experience is a good one. Um, Obviously, cardboard. You know, my first ex experience was with uh, evolution of verse vrse phenomenal um short film that moved me um and you can download the verse app vrse and the oculus story studio um experiences also jaunt jaunt vr doing some incredible um oh, wow. experience paul mccartney you can be on the piano and watch Paul McCartney yeah, I heard about um, that one. Leo play that in one. a, in a concert that. and you can go cliff diving and some all uh, other really great experiences and the folks at John have a great heart too um, because they are helping out with with um, sharing their talents in order to do wow. uh, this this veteran endeavor for honor everywhere so two app recommendations there verse VR SE um, I am a 360 also has phenomenal cons uh, uh, content what as is it, does is concept it? vr concept vr as well concept vr mm -hmm. and i am 360 i am which is a division of uh -huh, immersive media so i, I am 360 i i am no i am just i am that like I'm, immersive media like i'm with an ah, apostrophe. Oh, I'm downloading all these things because we talk right now. I'm like, so an interview, this is turning out to be, I'm just like, this is awesome. It's downloading all this. This is all you have. Yeah, I mean, it, and that's, that's the thing with any kind of, you know, VR endeavor right now is that with these new screens, not only do we have to create the content for it, but we have to educate people what the mm -hmm. heck it is um, because they don't understand until you put it on their face and they're like, oh, I get it, you know, yeah. now. Um, but you, you know, we kind of have a dual role right now. We're not just, you know, creating it and finding the compelling stories to tell, but we are also taking it out to schools and nursing homes and yeah. out on the streets and showing people, hey, this is VR. Help us use this wow. as a tool to story up some of those those brands. So this is a, this is yeah, a natural right. progression. It's a natural progression from your life as a journalist, and you're still being a journalist, but this is the natural progression of like what people ask, well, what do you do after being on the news? What do you do after it? A lot of people say, oh, you go into PR. It's not necessarily, I mean, I'm a former journalist too. You know, I kind of went into the marketing into the world. But you can also go this whole route where it's, you know, it's lots of fun to still be a journalist and really yeah, you explore. can create your own. Yeah. You can create your own media company, and and that's what you know no, no, a lot of for, former former journalists, recovering journalists do. And you can still be a journalist even though you're not working for a news, a, you know, yeah. quote unquote news entity or you know call letter TV station. Um, yeah. And let me tell you, it's incredibly liberating to be able to uh, yeah. not have a content policy and just to be able to tell the stories that you want to tell. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, Sarah, so the URL is story-up.com, right? You got it, fella. Awesome. Awesome. And they can find you online at, what is it, Sarah Mid M O? Yeah, on, on Twitter, Twitter, I'm at Sarah with an H, M I D M O. Um, you can also follow Story Up Studios on Twitter. Okay. And, and then we're Story Up. Too. Yep. Story Up VR on, on Facebook. Facebook as well. So give us some social love and um, keep an eye out for some of those stories that might be compelling to tell in 360 degrees. Absolutely. All right, sir, this has been great. And um, I can well, it's been great to catch up with you. I, yeah, thanks for the chat. Um, good luck to you and hang out high five. Hang out high five. Right. Yes. Uh, until next time, guys. <laughs>